What's up guys, it's Eden. Welcome back to Eden Well. In today's video, I've been, I've been wanting to make a favorite baby products video. I have a lot of pregnant friends right now and I feel like making a quick video explaining some of my favorites, it's just helpful, especially when you know someone and they give a review about something. Um, but I wanna say before I get into the video, when I watch these, sometimes I get this weird vibe from the mom, like, oh, these are the best products overall, like you must use these. And I don't, I don't want this video to come across like that. What I like about those videos is hearing why that specific baby liked or did not like that product or the mom liked or did not like that product. When you hear the story behind why the baby or the mom didn't like the product or liked the product, it, it kind of helps you understand if that's gonna be something that you're gonna like as a mom or like every every baby comes out having different issues. So like something that one certain baby liked, the other baby is not going to like, you know what I mean? So your baby might, might not like the products that Leon likes. And so I just wanted to share things that have helped us with the specific problems that we've experienced or things that we just really enjoy. So let's get into it. The very first one is um, the Dr. Brown's bottles. Now these ones are recommended by our lactation consultant. These are like, the standard of bottles like a lot of pediatricians and lactation consultants or like doctors they will recommend these bottles um, because they have a slow flow so for babies a lot of these products i'm going to just say right now are for leon because of his reflux that a lot of these products relate to that <laughs> um but for leon the slow flow really helps him so he has to be forced to suck and like strengthen his tongue because he has a weak tongue but then also it helps with the flow and so it's not like drowning him like my heavy flow does <laughs> and so dr brown's bottles have been great that's what tad uses when he gives him his middle of the night feed because tad helps me out shout out to my husband and you can get them like anywhere you know amazon i think we got ours at walmart or target or something so those are the bottles that we use and we've enjoyed them because they really help with this little guy. Uh, next is the Mama Frida nose sucker. So because of the reflux, he has experienced a lot of mucus. And so we, ha and he also had a cold when he was like a month old. And so we had to suck a lot of mucus out of his nose. The little bulb thing that they use a lot does not, it did not work. Oh, I actually have the thing right here. So that little product did not work. This is what we use. This is the, the nose Frida sucker. So you put this in your mouth this thing up to their nose and you suck and it does not hurt them i mean it's really hard to suck out of this thing so it's pretty hard to hurt them but this thing is amazing and then we got the saline or the nose the nose saline to help like make um his nose moist and then to suck the booger out all right next is my sister's burp cloth <sighs> okay so i wanted to give a little shout out to my sister because she makes a lot of baby clothes and like baby stuff these are little burp cloths that she made. You like them? You like Aunt Bree Bree's burp cloths? Um, they're just kind of made almost like a towel material, but they're extremely absorbent. This is her Instagram website, whatever else you need to know about it. Um, but she sells and makes these, and we, because of his reflux, look, it has this little perfect curve for like your neck. I just love them so much. They're like the perfect little burp cloth. Don't you love them? Okay. Next is this cart. This is the cart that we, I originally bought it for our bedroom. So to make it kind of aesthetic -y, I really like the matte black, but we cloth diaper. Um, and so it's a cart to hold all of his diapers. And so we just love it because it contains a lot of like his crib sheets, his diapers, some burp cloth. So we've really liked having the cart available to store a lot of stuff on. And it's just really convenient with how tall it is and how much storage there is on it. I'm making this video, I swear. <laughs> But we really like that cloth because, or, gosh, we really like that cart because it has, um, I don't know, it's just, it looks cool, I think, for a cart, <laughs> um, and it has served us well, so. And I think we bought it from Target. All right, next is the playpen. So the playpen, um, originally we were gonna use it as the thing that he slept in if we were ever in the den, this room hanging out, but because of the reflux stuff, um, it's just his changing table slash we use it to store all of his clothes and everything else so yeah that's just that's just what it is but we love it because we use it as his changing table that's literally where we change him all the time and it keeps all of our like all of his stuff next to him when we change him and so it's like super convenient um everything is right there 
and then later on when he's not needing to sleep or when he's in his crib we can have that playpen and it can literally just be like a playpen someone got it from us for us from Amazon but it was on our registry so definitely a playpen we've really enjoyed it. it has worked really well for us it's just kind of another place to change him and have that whole station right there next is this baby shusher um, people swear by this and now I would say it works like 50% of the time for him but he does like the shh sound to calm down and like go to sleep and so um, this is a machine that will save your breath <laughs> And so it has like a few different settings, like longer or shorter shushes. And then there's a volume on the bottom. It's like volume. Um, people, yeah, people swear by it and it helps babies fall asleep. And so you save your breath and you can rock them to sleep with this little device and then put them in their crib with the device or wherever they're sleeping. And it really, really helps. It does help like calm the baby down and you can take it anywhere. It's super portable, it's really tiny. Next is the nail trimmers or this nail filer. This thing. I will recommend to every baby because trying to clip a little baby's nails I clipped him like twice accidentally and it was the worst and I'll never do it again this nail filer is incredible like it's so gentle it has a ton of different settings so it's not like a clipper it's like a like a filer right so it like spins um, it has all these different settings so even adults can use it I haven't used it on myself yet except to like check the, the the different colors indicate different age groups so the orange one is for infants so I used that on him and I tested it out and it's like so gentle like and it works so well it works so well like this is something that you actually need do not buy clippers buy this trimmer <laughs> they're amazing okay these last few are like so the next is the haka now there are two types of hakas the first haka the og haka is this one i got the second one which is this one this little ladybug one the ladybug one is garbage it is not it does not suck it does not have great suction the og one um the one that looks more like a tube i just got that like yesterday and wow Wow, completely 180. Like this one actually works. I have an amazing <laughs> supply um, and I have a very intense letdown, which is a part of his reflux issue. I just like rush milk into his mouth. It's like, <laughs> so um, I have to express before I nurse him because I will have too much for him if I don't. And I will put this thing on my boob for like 10 minutes and I'll like just express two ounces. Like it's crazy. This product is insane. Um, there is a specific way to put it on, so if you do get it, I would just YouTube like how to put it on because it's a little weird. You have to like flip the lid, lid back, put it on the nipple, then flip it on. Anyways, you'll see. Again, this product for us has been amazing. Again, this is another product people rave about and it really works. So if you have a crazy oversupply, a really heavy letdown for your baby, this is a good product so you can put it on the other boob while they're nursing, if you're going to nurse, so that you don't have that giant rush because it is really really intense for the baby and your milk doesn't regulate until like month four or five or something so i'm gonna have to do that for a while the next one is not really like a raving recommendation however it's good to note that insurance will pay for a free most insurance will pay for a free um breast pump for you the one i got is the most motif I think it's this one I'll link it here so this product literally saved my life so even though we had a home birth he had to go to the hospital I had to pump like a madman okay which was which really really made me oversupply like it was insane but if I didn't have this breast pump I don't know what I would have done like he would have had to either drink donor milk or formula and so I had to pump at home and then I used theirs when I was at the hospital but I needed a pump I didn't think I would, but I did. So if you have the chance to get a free pump, get a free pump through insurance. I think aeroflowbreast.com is, the, I'll link it here. This is the website I use. Typed in my insurance and my, my provider and the, it gives you a list of free breast pumps as well as discounted breast pumps. So there's like, the mine was free, but there's ones like the Willow and the LV and like the really fancy ones that for me, they took like 100 to $200 off, like discounted. And so, but I just, I knew I just didn't need a fancy one. So I just went with the free one. Um, and mine was really good. I don't mind mine. Mine's actually 
like semi portable it's not as like convenient or as I can't you can't hide mine basically it's still like the flanges and the cup and everything but my the, the device itself is like you could like shove it kind of like in your leggings waistband and like walk around if you had like a nursing bra I don't care to do that I just sit you know I only pump for like 10 to 15 minutes at a time so and it's usually in the middle of the night so I'm just like sitting in bed I'm just sitting in bed so but I got the motif and I really really liked it and so I don't mind it it's easy to use it's user-friendly but you can look up reviews and how to use it on the internet if that's um, a brand that you're looking to use but people rave about the LV and the Willow so if you want to spend the money and get the fancy wow. ones go for it because people love them um, they're hands-free they're they're pretty incredible I just didn't want to spend the money um, and the free one worked great for us the last item that I have on the list and this one is pretty controversial just because people either love it or hate it, but we love it for certain reasons, again, for his reflux. But the Mamaru swing, okay? You're not supposed to let your baby sleep in it. It's not safe sleep. But because of, again, his reflux, he could not lie down for a long time to nurse, like, or to um, sleep, because he would gag and choke on his milk. This swing, you know, the lowest setting is still pretty inclined. He has been sleeping in his swing but he sleeps amazing in it. And so we're okay with this. We check on him, he's fine. He's obviously still alive, so we're good. We, could, we couldn't have lived without it. We got it when he was about a month old-ish, maybe six weeks, and he, is, he literally slept in it for weeks. Um, we are slowly trying to transition him to a bassinet because he is doing a little better, and he, he is sleeping in the bassinet, so that's good. <laughs> but those first, those few weeks where he would not sleep in a bassinet, he wouldn't lie down, um, the Mamaru. The Mamaru. We only use it to sleep, actually. We never even put him in it just to like sit. I'm sure we will eventually once he's a little older and you can clip him in and stuff, but typically what we do is we just lay a blanket over it so it's kind of cushy, and he sleeps like a baby in it um yeah don't you love your swing don't you love your swing there are a lot of people who say they don't like it because it doesn't like there are swings that go like front and back and like side to side the mama room only goes side to side it just has different like variations of movement and different speeds so if you're looking for a swing that goes all different directions there's different brands that i don't know the names of but you can look for those swings this one we just happen to really I don't know. It was on sale at Target at the time, so we we're like, all right, we're just, let's just go get it. Um, and it was a lifesaver. But again, it's controversial. You don't, you probably don't need it. I actually didn't want a swing. I was like, I don't want another piece of baby furniture up in my house. But I'm so glad we got it. My house just looks like a baby lives in it, and that's okay. Those are my top products right now. Um, I'm sure there's others, but that's all for now. Those are our favorites, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Say bye.